Greetings, true health seekers, fellow nutritional healing uh, practitioners or people who are looking for their optimal health vibrancy in the most natural and effective way using nature. I'm Mary Esther Miranda Gilbert, nutritional physiologist, and I have been healing people with nutrition for over 45 years. In case you haven't been here before, welcome back to all of my subscribers. Thank you for being here. So I know it's been a while since I have developed or, or produced any kind of video. I've been busy working on building my online True Health Mastery Institute. And so I had uh, run into some problems with the venue and I'm switching to another venue. So I'm moving the entire school migrating everything that I had done in that first venue to the new venue. So the membership subscriber site, the True Health Mastery Institute, is going to allow me to share 45 years and ongoing research that has helped people improve their health and to reverse the degenerative health process and to overcome all of the problems that um other modalities have caused. So this is going to be one of the videos that I'll be producing to sort of awaken people to the idea of what exactly is the human body? You know, is it just a mechanical thing that Western medicine defines as uh, when something goes wrong, you attack it, you turn it off, or you cut it out? Or is the human organism uh an organ organized system, an organism, a natural organism that is constantly regenerating itself and healing itself and uh, nourishing, you know, from foods that we eat and uh, drinking the right water, uh, exercise, and all of the above, all the things that people know they should be doing for their health. But I take it a step further. In my recent research in recent years, as I produced more books and uh, dove into the scientific literature, I have found that, and of course, this is nothing new. It's been experimented and, and researched, and um, information has been spreading throughout the world about the fact that we are like energy beings. And so when we go deep into the molecular and submolecular atomic, subatomic uh, universe inside the body, then we begin to see how we are mostly light energy. And so over the years, I have incorporated that kind of teaching into my clients so that they understand that if they do not transfer that light energy into their bodies from the sunlight and the energy active foods, then of course, that's going to uh, slow down the healing process and not allow the body to rapidly heal and restore itself. So health maintenance is all about the understanding how the body works and all the nutrients that it needs to maintain itself and perpetuate life and maintain its youthfulness well into advanced years. So um, in a nutshell, you know, all the books that I've written and the courses that I've taught uh, just pretty much wrap that kind of thing up. So if you'd like to, at this point, go to my website, holisticchoices.com, and look at the books that I've written on the side panel. There's all the links that go to different areas of the website if you'd like to look at the books. Also, uh, if you'd like to see the introduction to the True Health Mastery Institute, you can click on that link as well. And if you're interested in becoming a subscriber member, you can fill out the contact form and just let me know that you'd like to be contacted when the school is launched. So right now it's in the process of transferring all the work that I did in the old venue to the new venue. So that means learning, you know, a whole different, uh, a whole different uh, platform. And that of course takes time, but uh, you know, not being new to learning new software and learning new platforms to accomplish what we need to accomplish, right? If we are people who produce videos online, uh, educational videos or informational videos, we know that it does take a little bit of time, but the more we have done it, the faster we can get that learning curve, you know, not be so steep. So uh, all of that aside, I'd like to show you a little bit about 
the meaning behind why we are considered light energy beings. So I'm going to do a screen share right now, and uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of articles that kind of back up what I'm saying here. I always back myself up with scientific research, and peer-reviewed studies are the pretty much the uh, the irrefutable evidence of an accumulation of many, many studies. So expert panelists and expert scientists uh, gather data from all over the internet, all over the world, really all the studies that have ever been done on any particular subject. In this case, uh, in my case, the uh, botanical medicines research. So the it's important to know that that kind of research is so important to establish yourself as a credible, you know, a knowledgeable person and to be able to go and share information with others. There's so much information on the internet that is not credible. And uh, what I teach is to know the difference between a peer-reviewed scientific study, an accumulation of many studies, and uh, the best, most credible studies had been selected to, to, uh, to form a, the, the summary report put together by these industry or not industry, but uh, science, science experts in the, in the universities uh, and in organizations that are known for their credible scientific research. So yeah, there's more to that. I'm not gonna go on that tangent right now, but that's one of the things I teach. I teach people how to tell the difference between credible information and non-credible information. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate a little bit about uh, what that looks like in this article that I will be presenting to you. There's a couple of other things that I'm going to be sharing with you as well, uh, just to kind of round everything up. But I hope you'll find it as fascinating as I do, delving into our inner universe as to what's really going on in there, what it takes to be healthy, and uh, just knowing that we are so much more than we've been shown. So one of my favorite people, unfortunately, Dr. Albert Fritz Pop passed away some some years ago, but his findings are were one of the pioneers of what it means to be a being of light. So I'm just going to basically, you know, skim this article and read a little bit to you and make commentary here and there just so that you get introduced to the person behind uh, who discovered what we are, you know, molecularly, submolecularly at the sub subquantum energy level and how um, we are in, indeed energy beings. So this is a very important time in human history, considering what's happening in the world, to know what we are, who we are, and what we were not told for, for thousands of years, actually. But uh, it's most recently, you know, coming out into the light more and more that we are much more than we were told. And so it's time that human beings start awakening and discovering who, what it means to be a human being and uh, to not to be uh, someone who has been drugged or dumbed down, you know, from lack of information and lack of, of truth that has been pretty much hidden from the public. But here we are, truth eventually comes out you know, it comes out into the light and it spills out. Eventually, you cannot hold truth down for very long. It just doesn't work that way in our universe. So anyhow, this is uh, what Dr. Fritz Albert Pop looks like. So, and this article was written by uh, Premier Research Labs. And it uh, it's an educational, you know, website for health professionals, for clients and patients. And they provide a lot of uh, education, and they, it looks like they manufacture uh, some kind of uh, equipment, I'm not sure, or they're just a research lab. But anyhow, this is one of the credible sites that you can count on to uh, to gather factual information about, in this case, Dr. Fritz Albert Pop. So anyhow, what it says is, many scientists still mourn the passing of this brilliant doctor Recently deceased in 2018, he was an unexpected great gift to science as a world-famous biophysicist and insightful researcher who had enormous influence about our deeper understanding of the biophysics, the biophotonic nature. 
of our underlying physiology and how our bodies truly function. So biophotonics and biophysics are the sub-physics fields uh, that have ex been exploring how the body produces light energy frequencies or the units called biophotons. And so all living cells contain these biophotons or emit these biophotons. So during his lifetime, Dr. Pop forged new ground in scientific communities when he demonstrated that our body cells emit a radiation of light called biophotons. This biophoton cloud or ultra weak photo emissions, UPEs, is spontaneously, see, excuse me, uh, spontaneously emitted from the skin of humans. This cloud of light is emitted from the DNA in living cells, which naturally stores biophotons and, and later releases them. So our bodies apparently at the cellular level store light. And the raw enzyme active, nutrient rich plant kingdom with their living cells also contain these biophotons, these little battery packs, these little energy cells that uh, living things are composed of. Uh, that includes human beings, uh, you know, animals, plants, all living cells. Although this light radiation is not perceptible by the human eye, Pop and his team were able to measure it with sophisticated scientific equipment. This universal biophoton effect occurs in everyone's body and may in fact hold the elusive key to health and wellness. Now, in my uh, 30 years of of practice as a professional uh, consultant, nutritional healing specialist in Northern California for 30 years, I was able to see the transformation in people's health when I had developed, I have developed my own nutritional system, nutritional synergy system, that when people choose from the plant kingdom, 50 to 75% of their uh, diet, if it's in the, the form of raw energy active you know, light frequency, bio, bio photon active foods, uh, plant foods, then uh, we are able to absorb that light energy, not only to utilize the vitamins and minerals and phytonutrient compounds that are so beneficial to our health, which I've written extensively about, then, um, you know, it's, it's so much more than the basic fundamental nutrition, no matter how good your nutrition is, if you cook a food, you destroy that light energy frequency, that life force, transfer from those foods to our own bodies. So um, not that I advocate purely eating only plant foods because the other food groups, the especially the animal derived proteins uh, are so very important for their complete amino acid, uh, you know, makeup that our bodies need because we are mostly protein other than water. And, uh, you know, of course the other miscellaneous uh, nutrients and tissues, but we are mostly protein and uh, and water. So it's important to maintain our multiple trillions of cells that are composed of proteins. So eating from plant kingdom only is not going to be provide you with the complete health picture and complete regenerative healing, uh, health recovery power that the body is capable of. Uh, but in this case, we're talking about the light energy frequencies that are being emoted from uh, from the plant kingdom. So Dr. Fritz Albert Pop was able to prove that uh, we are truly beings of light. Pop found this spectrum of colorful electromagnetic light energies in the form of biophotons. It forms an intricate, highly organized system of communication between our body cells and ultimately is responsible for the reputation of all of our body's physiological processes. In other words, he found that every human body is essentially a being of light. I came to that conclusion over 12 years ago uh, before I retired my practice. So I've been seeing that in my clients, their health transformations for 30 years. So, um, you know, I have always relied on the peer-reviewed scientific literature to come up with nutritional healing protocols for my clients. And then after comparing that with the ancient healer knowledge, it always matched. And then you combine that with my client's results and their health transformations, then you've got a, a triad of information that's balanced and, and uh, is, is able to be proven in one direction or another, whether it's empirical, you know, ancient healing knowledge that has been carefully documented through the ages from healers or 
the scientific research that over time has has shown and produced uh, consistent research about the healing properties of foods, of the right types of foods, which are outlined in my nutritional synergy system. So, um, and plus exercise and all the other things that we know we should be doing. But the most important thing is to know that we must replenish that light energy frequency. And yes, we do receive it when we get out into the sunlight. And, uh, you know, it, uh, other factions have tried to just sway people away from these things that are just the, the most important natural things that we can do for our bodies, you know. Uh, so the sunlight itself does not give you cancer. It's lack of the nutrients in the body from the plant kingdom and the right types of uh, fats and the right types of uh, other types of foods and, you know, other food categories you'll see in my nutritional synergy system. If you haven't uh, looked at my other videos, you'll see how I explain all of that. And if you go to my website, holisticchoices.com, uh, you'll see a number of, of videos there that explain what botanicals do for the body. So all that is very scientifically explained and backed by, by uh, peer-reviewed studies. So anyhow, um, so let's go on and see what else this article says about Dr. Pop. So in his own words, he said, we know today that man essentially is a being of light and the modern science of photobiology is presently pro proving this. In terms of healing, the implications are immense. We now know, for example, that quanta of light can initiate or arrest cascade-like reactions in the cells and that genetic cellular damage can be virtually repaired within hours by faint beams of light. We are still on the threshold of fully understanding the complex relationship between light and life, but we can now say emphatically that the function of our entire metabolism is dependent on light. Now, how I came across that accidentally, I'll never know. I must have been divinely guided because uh, I discovered that before I even discovered Dr. Pop's work. And of course, he isn't the only individual over um, you know, the last century or so that has discovered this, but um, he was in the, at the forefront. Uh, he had his own institute back east and, and all kinds of things. I always wanted to go back east and study under him because uh, it's always been a fascination. Um, but yes, this is very uh, a very essential component of optimal health vibrancy that I like to use that phrase. And um, of healing the human body, of restoring it back toward its homeostasis, uh, the, the natural state that it optimizes itself uh, as a vibrantly healthy human being. Okay, so um, then he goes on to talk about quantum coherence. Doesn't this term sound like something you'd really want yourself to have? Of course, Pop found that an intriguing characteristic of biophotons was their ability to create coherence. When cells are in a healthy state, they exhibit a light emission that is highly coherent, that is, synchronized with one another. In other words, they communicate. Quantum coherence means that these biophotons as light particles are able to cooperate with one another and act together. These wave particles not only sense each other, but they can become mutually interlinked by varying light bands of electromagnetic fields. More importantly, these highly intelligent light particles are able to communicate and give feedback to one another. It reminds one of a beautiful orchestra where all the biophotons are playing the same song together, but each is playing its own particular instrument to contribute to the whole. And that's a beautiful way to express how every single body system, which I extensively have taught about and written about, actually communicates through this one central control, the nervous system and response to stimuli, and also the police forces in the body, such as the hormonal regulating uh, hormonal system, all the glandular systems producing the thousands, of, the 10,000 hormones that the body utilizes to start and stop all regulating processes and working with the, with the communication of the nervous system as well. And you tie that in with the immune system. So we've got this synergistic uh, way to monitor what goes on in the human body, which is the multiple trillions of biochemical processes that happen every moment that we're alive. Okay, so then uh, they go on to say, it reminds me, it reminds one of a beautiful orchestra 
where all the biophotons are playing the same song together, but each is playing its own particular instrument to contribute to the whole. So I have to say that again. <laughs> it becomes apparent that this grand biophotonic emission forms an exquisite communication system in the body where information is to transferred cells throughout the body and can also be transferred to other human bodies nearby. So if you're vibrating at an optimal frequency because you have taken good care of yourself and you're doing all the right things and you're conscious of the light energy frequency of foods, therefore you're making sure you're, you're consuming the right types of foods in the plant kingdom uh, and balancing your nutrients and exercising and getting your rest and staying hydrated, all of the above, you're conscious of your light energy self, then all of this is going to emanate from you and you can walk into a room and this is what I've experienced because I've applied everything I've ever learned to my own health. And my clients will attest to that as well. I've lost count years ago. I don't know. I'm still taking clients to this day. But anyhow, um, you know, when you walk into a room and you're vibrating at such a, uh, a very attractive, magnetically attractive vibrational frequency, people will come to you and be attracted to you. Uh, I'm not talking about sexually, possibly yes, you know, but the, uh, there's another way that people are attracted. They sense the positivity and the um, the higher realms at which a person exists. So they can sense this and they want it and they will attach themselves to this person and they want to know everything about this person. And for some reason, they don't know why they like this person so much, but they just do, right? This is happening at the quantum energy frequency level. And our body does have a field of bioenergy around it. And so that can extend farther out and other people will feel it. All right, biophotonic rhythms. I love the, the fact that Dr. Fritz Albert Pop has, has validated what I've discovered, you know, in, uh, in helping people improve their health. Biophotonic rhythms. Biophot biophotons also follow biological rhythms, including daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly cycles. In healthy people, their biophotons have high quantum coherence and are in harmony with outward biological rhythms. For those with serious health concerns, they have lost much of their coherence and natural rhythms. It is as if their internal lines of communication have become scrambled. In effect, their biophoton emissions have weakened severely. That just, you know, I just have seen this. A person who is ill is going to be vibrating at a lower frequency altogether, and they are uh, they cannot they cannot have this view of the world because they have a, such a limited perspective, and all they feel is the pain, psychological, physical pain, and uh, so they're they're caught in, and stuck in this little tight little world uh, that they just cannot see anything else. But when they start getting well, then they start expanding their horizons, so to speak. They start becoming more aware and uh, they just kind of wake up and they have gone on to change their lives in so many profound ways. They have changed relationships, improved their relationships, left, you know, uh, toxic relationships um, and have interacted at a higher plane, at a higher level of existence. And so I have seen this phenomenon over and over again, which is so very exciting. Um, so healthy foods equals healthy biophotons. And I've kind of said that for the last 20 years uh, once I discovered Dr. Pop. Inter interestingly, Pop found that the healthiest foods had the most coherent intensity of light emissions. And of course, the opposite was true. Junk food was almost totally devoid of biophotonic emissions. So I have found also in my practice that when people eat junk food, food that does not have any light energy frequency going for it, you know, chemically altered food, molecularly altered food through high heat processing and uh, just uh, eliminating a lot of the nutrient components in foods and turning them into just uh, get these lifeless, uh, high salt, wrong type of fat kind of snack type of foods. So I call them food stuffs because they're just stuff. There's nothing the body can use in those foods. And so um, it's true that when you have a nutrient-rich soil and you're growing nutrient-rich crops in a diverse environment, organic or permaculture, if you're not familiar with that term, um, you know, I'll do another another video on permaculture. I might have already done one. I have to look to my archives, but uh, at, on my YouTube channel, uh, just type in Mary Esther Gilbert 
on YouTube and you'll be able to see my channel of all the videos that I've done so far. And please like, share, and subscribe uh, because that way, uh, you know, more people get uh, get to see my videos. And so it'll be exposed to them as well. I would appreciate it very much. So yeah, my mission is to make humanity healthy. I've said this before in my videos and to all of my clients and my audiences. And so they all know that, of course, uh, that's my mission is to make humankind healthy because the high po there's a high you know a percentage of the population that is unhealthy and they so therefore they are diminished human beings they are not living up to their higher health vibrancy potential as healthy happier human beings stronger uh, of body mind and spirit kind of thing and I've seen those transformations and here is Dr Pop just describing this very thing. All right, so, um, you know, choose wisely. Pop's findings offer all of us a great lesson. Always seek out the healthiest foods we can find, as well as choosing the healthiest nutritional formulas that have high quantum coherence. It's the only way to nourish our bodies to generate our own highest coherence. So um, on my website, I have an array of healing supplements and I have uh, several books on my books page that will take you through the steps you need to improve your health. The Nutritional Synergy book is the one that's uh, excellent for introducing you to the different food groups that you can choose in a day to uh, once you choose foods from all the food groups then your, your health will automatically just start getting uh, well because it will utilize all of the uh, all known essential nutrients, the full range of nutrients that the body needs, not just vitamins and minerals, but the, the plant fluids, the phytonutrients, or call, they're also called the phytochemical compounds. So um, I teach all of that in my books, and I am developing courses that will be associated with those books that I've written at the True Health Mastery Institute. So I have a lot in store for humanity, and I cannot wait to continue to finish these projects and so, uh, yeah, this project that I'm doing now is to start my True Health Master Institute subscriber membership site where I can divulge information like this and then some uh, and uh, do live Q&As, you know, and uh, teach the courses and uh, always be in touch with every member to really, truly provide the true information that's needed to improve your health. So, yeah, it's just a, a much better direct way to educate yourself, to understand what you need to do to uh, overcome your illnesses, reverse the disease process, and to lead the vibrantly healthy life you were meant to live. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so, uh, yeah, just uh, check it out, holisticchoices.com. And just uh, just go explore that website. There's so much there for people and there's so much more to come. And so I'm trying to make the time to make more videos here for my YouTube channel so that everyone can continue on with their, um, you know, their true health mastery process to truly master their health. Again, this is Mary Esther Miranda Gilbert, nutritional physiologist. And uh, thank you for being here. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.